for attending tonight's debate, and of course Christopher Newport for hosting this, this debate tonight. And although I wasn't really planning on using this as part of my closing statements, I just do want to add one final thing, and that is in regards to the issue of law enforcement. I do a ride along every year with the Newport News Police, and I discuss with them the issues that are concerned. And believe you me, if there was a bill that I could put in with an emergency clause to address some of these issues, you can bet I would do it. But what I have done is I put in legislation that combats some of the drug trafficking, trafficking, and some of the guns that are using these drug trafficking. And I'm going to look at legislation going forward on some of these issues of, of gun trafficking insofar as people who are breaking into pawn shops and gun shops for the express purpose of stealing these guns to traffic these guns and to see what we can do to go after these people who are committing these crimes. And that's really, at the end of the day, what I'm working on is the great quality of life that's important for our law enforcement. And it's important for the people in this room to know that these issues are important and that we take these issues seriously and that we're working to find solutions in a bipartisan way. I'm really proud of what I've been able to do in the legislature in the last six years, working with Republicans and Democrats alike. Working with Senator Monty Mason, we were able to pass legislation this year that would work on cybersecurity to protect government computers, a real important issue in light of recent events. On the economy, it's one of the toughest recessions this nation has ever faced when I was elected. We are coming out of it. We're at about 2% growth, but we still have our challenges, and yet I have been able to work diligently to make certain that what we need to grow our economy, whether it's Newport New Shipyard or it's holding the Virginia Economic Development Partnership or leaning on other opportunities to grow our economy, that that conversation continues, as well as what we've got to do to support the Port of Virginia to grow that opportunity and, of course, bring in the supply chain and other things. On education, workforce development, I believe that young people should walk across that stage with a diploma, with an opportunity for a two years associates, and maybe a trade certificate to be able to go immediately into the workforce. And really, not just immediately into the workforce for some kind of an internship job, but graduate into a career with real opportunities for growth and development. And on transportation, six years ago, when I ran for public office, I said I'm going to do every single thing that I can to grow the economy, and I'm going to do every single thing that I can to make certain that we improve our transportation network. And six years later, 64 on the peninsula is being widened. By December of 2017, the first segment will be done. By 2021, you will have three lanes to Williamsburg. The goal is to push it to downtown Richmond, and we will have two, maybe four existing lanes on the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. 30 years of waiting, but working together in a bipartisan way and throughout our Hampton Roads community, we now have a transportation plan of projects out to 2040 and a way to fund them. But for me, at the end of the day, it all boils back down to the community that I represent and some of the most important people in my life. As you all know, when I talked about it earlier tonight, I coach high school rugby kids. The majority of the kids that I coach come from some of the toughest parts in the city. I want to see them succeed. I want to see them be the best that they can be. And nothing makes me happier when I get a young man who comes out, or a young lady, they won state championship two years ago, by the way, when they come out and they have doubts about playing the game, really what it is about, they have doubts about whether or not they could be something great and something special. And I'm so happy when I see them take the confidence and go back into the classroom and their grades rise. I'm so happy when I see them graduate. I'm so excited when they're joining the military and they're willing to become leaders. One of the best experiences I've had in the last couple of years was a high school game where kids for the past 10 years were lined up and they all said, hey coach, hey coach, you remember me? And you remember that time you talked about this? Do you remember the time you called somebody to help me get a job? Do you remember the time you wrote a letter of recommendation for me? These are the things that matter for back home. My opponent and I have different opinions and different thoughts on the best way that we can go about doing things. And I have great admiration for my opponent. Like her, my mother was my inspiration for running for public office, and I'm so excited to hear that she wants to be the same inspiration for her children. And I know it's hard sometimes to hear the differences in the back and forth of a political debate, but we both want the best things for our communities. And in the six years that I've represented you in the Virginia legislature, I have fought for those things that matter for the people that I represent, whether they're in my district or not, whether they're in my community or not, because at the end of the day, what's best for Newport News is best for the Commonwealth of Virginia. And I love my job. I love what I've been able to do. I love fighting for you. And with your support, and with your vote on Tuesday the 7th, I can continue to fight for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um